How's it going? This is In the Boat with Ben TV, episode zero. Because we're just zero. well, we're just trying this out. Oh, okay. We have we have something interesting that we wanted to talk about today. Because we just watched a movie oh. that we've been really wanting to see for a long time. Yeah. And the movie is Inside Out. By the way, by the way, this is Rachel. <laughs> hey guys. Of In the Boat with Ben. People people have been saying you should call it In the Boat with Ben and Rachel. Yeah. I'm like not the personality of the show though. That's right, it's all here. That's right. You are an integral part of the show. I said it right. Integral. In integral. You, you put an extra R. Integral. So. Integral. <laughs> integral. Integral part of the show. Integral. In the boat with Ben and Rachel is just a little bit of a mouthful. Yeah, In the I boat with it. Ben is already a little bit long. So. Yeah. so we opted to just go with In the boat with Ben. But of course, it comes with Rachel and all of our boys and all of the craziness. So what is In the Boat with Ben TV? I don't even know if it's going to be called that. I'm just calling it that for now. Okay. But basically, the things that we talk about on the podcast that we usually spend about 45 minutes to an hour talking about, um, In the Boat with Ben TV is going to be a more condensed version of that. We're also going to take questions. We might talk about movies, do kind of a movie review sort of thing like we're doing today for episode zero. Uh, so... We'll see. I think it's going to be fun. We're going to start out weekly. That's uh, that's what we can commit to right now. Yeah. But eventually, it would be a lot of fun to go to something more frequent than that, yeah. being a video show. I'd love to do daily, but... No. Yeah, okay. Probably never. Today, we're going to talk about the movie Inside Out. If you haven't seen this movie, you should definitely check it out. It's really good. It is good. Um. It was really important for us because we talk a lot about emotional intelligence and the importance of understanding your emotions. And this movie centers around uh, the emotions of a little girl and the things that she's going through uh, as her parents move to a new city. And I don't want to give away too much of the plot, but uh, but a lot of her memories are happy ones. And that's up to that point in her life. Most of her days have just been really happy days. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and it's kind of represented in these different colors. You know, the happiness is yellow. And so a lot of her memories are yellow. And there are some sad memories that are blue, some angry memories that are red. But those are just kind of sprinkled throughout, just, just a little bit. Most of them happy. And the movie, the the moral of the movie, it just goes on to explain how each emotion we experience uh, is a, a really important part of who we are. And so I really liked that about the movie. Well, and I felt also like it integrated all of those emotions together. So it wasn't just that happiness was a good one or joy was a good one, but it was also that joy mixed with sadness is also a good emotion. Yeah. And, and it can make for a good memory. That's right. And and it's uh, it, and it went beyond the memories. You know, it was it was memories, but it was also things that made a, a person who they are, their personality, their core values, um, all of those things. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was fun. Uh, but, but one of the things that we really try to help our boys understand, and this is something that we talked about a lot on the podcast, is that emotions are not bad. You know, there's, they're not good emotions and bad emotions. There's nothing wrong with feeling sad. There's nothing wrong with feeling angry. There's nothing wrong with feeling scared. It's the way that we express our emotions that's important. And so what we try to teach our boys is that, is that yes, you need to feel your emotions. It's important to acknowledge your emotions. Your emotions are acceptable. And, and then once you, once you realize what you're feeling, you have an opportunity to communicate that in a healthy way that helps, that allows other people to understand what you're going through, what you're experiencing, and walk through that experience with you. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the movie was really in support of that idea. Oh, it was. And I don't know that, I don't know that kids would get that initially, but it can open up conversation. Yeah, it so really that can. So they can, we have an opportunity to, to teach in that. Yeah. So this was, this was super cool. And 
I'm I'm gonna I'll have a little bit of confession uh, okay. time, but I want to yeah. sh show you guys something. So yeah. we watched the movie last night for family movie night, and it was it was kind of a tense evening, even though it was family movie night. We had had a whole day out at the zoo. We were all kind of tired and cranky. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. Short fused. <laughs> and the boys. The boys were having a really like we had we had hung out with the grandparents, you know, and so anytime anytime they get out of their routine, it just makes it a little bit more difficult for them to listen and focus. And uh, and, and they they were having a hard time listening, following directions. And so we were getting more and more frustrated. And and so it just got really tense um, after the movie was over and we put the boys to bed, our oldest. He stayed up a little bit and he worked on something and I want to show it to you. I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well on the camera, but, but he drew uh, different pictures and they're color coded. He gave me the key right here. They're color coded for different emotions. And then he wrote something on this. He said, I'm confused when I'm lost. I'm shameful when I do something wrong. I'm afraid when I'm up high or if I hear weird noises at night. And he goes on and he, he explains all these things. And he gave this to me as a map for understanding his emotions and the things that he feels under certain circumstances. And he did this right after we watched the movie. So um, that made it well worth the ticket price. Like yeah. I, I would send money to Pixar and Disney for helping my son have that level of understanding of his emotions and being able to communicate them that way. It was really cool. Yeah. And, and for the record, he's eight. Yeah. So it was a, it was a cool conversation to have. Now I will say that the shameful piece we had to talk about because we're not okay with shame. Yeah. And I mean, shame, shame is a real emotion, but the root of shame is something that we really want to work against. We'll have to talk about yeah, that in another will. episode. There's a, there's a lot to talk about with shame, the difference between shame and guilt. Mm-hmm and how you handle that in a healthy way. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that does it for this episode of <laughs> In the Boat with Ben TV. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. We're going to be coming out with these weekly yeah. for now. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.